Hello! Welcome. Hi. Welcome to the first episode of GROSS. What does GROSS stand for? GROSS stands for a guy reviewing odd, oddly horrifying septic slime. I'm your host, uh, Nenner. Gross stuff. So it's gross, right? So I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna I'm gonna review the gross stuff. Okay, that's my job. First up on the gross road of gross stuff. So if any of you guys saw my one video, you might think, uh, Nenner, aren't didn't you kill like Toby? Like Toby was your Scoby, and you killed him. You'd be wrong. I actually have another Scoby. Scoby is a bacteria thing that you make in order to drink tea. His name is His name is Scobson the Richardson of the 64th. Anyway, so this is Scobson and uh, he's got he's got many layers. He's like uh, he's like a potato. Na na how have you been? I've been doing pretty good. I'm giving Mr. Scobson three dead rats out of a roadkill raccoon. He's kind of slimy, but he, he just he doesn't have his touch anymore. He's a little too a little too hard, a little too little too potatoey. And then they see me, they're gonna be like, "When? Why didn't you go to college?" And I'll be like, "Cause I was making me, I was reviewing gross stuff." And All right, next up on the gross list. So I went to the I went to the grocery store, and I was like. What's the grossest thing I can find? And instantly I thought, spam! Spam is the grossest thing I can think of finding at the grocery store. But, get this. When I went to go find spam, I saw something else. Spam doesn't even come close to how gross this thing is that I found. SpaghettiOs with Franks. Which is just like... Campbell's was like, okay, so what if we took a spaghetti and then we we made we made them circles. And luckily since I'm a Cub Scout boy, I got a knife. So if you if you're out in the wild, you're like people are always like, no no, why do you keep a pocket knife around? A pocket knife usually what do you think you are? You think you're edgy, you think he's it's cool to carry around a pocket knife? I'm like Excuse you, when you're out in the wild and you're like, I got a, I got a bear, and there's a bear here, and the bear's trying to take my cocoa crunch. You're gonna be like, hmm, wish I had a knife. I got a knife, so I'm keeping my Captain Crunch. Thank you very much. Where's the knife? I was gonna, I wanted to pull out a knife. It would be a knife joke. So, what we got here? Is we got we got the spaghettio the sing we got the spaghettio which is like a noodle but it's in a circle you getting that you getting that and then we got the frank which if I'm gonna be frank with you <laughs> long story short it smells like old ravioli and feet I think the main reason I just have, the main problem I have with SpaghettiOs is that they always just, they tasted so artificial, like the tomato-y taste just tasted bad. Um, I, I'm sure they're not that terrible, but I don't know. So, let's find out. I want to vomit a little bit, but I can get it down. It's not, it's not that bad. I'm going to give this... Three cat pies out of a steamy cow pie. Now, my last item is something that I don't know. That's right. It's time for the mystery gross thing. I saw, so I was like, I was talking to my friend, and he was like, hey, do you like food? And I was like, 
yeah, I mean, I guess I do. And he's like, do you like bread? And I was like, do I? I was given this box. The box was given to me. And I was told there was bread in it. I was also under the assumption that this bread is very gross. Let's take a look. Let there be bread. First, first thoughts. It smells. I mean, it smells like war, wall insulation. Can you tell what they mean when you don't know what they mean? What they mean? What they mean? And what do you say when they want to go home? I have no idea what's in this. Om nom nom. 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 Is this why my English teacher was like, Ben, you should, you should write it, you should make a movie. It was like, I don't know, Mrs. Greenwald. I'm not feeling so good. I don't think I can make a movie. I could maybe make a video, make a short film, and they're like, yeah, go for it. Is this, is this a short film? I'm gonna give the bread two stinky socks out of a soiled underwear. I think it would make work really well if you're trying to make like a desk or like a shelf or something. If you enjoyed the show, make sure to tell your food about it. And if you got something that you think is just, if you got something that you think is just nasty, Send it on over. Send it on over to me. I I will eat. I will not. Probably not eat all of your gross stuff. I will review your gross stuff. I'll I'll take a I'll take a gander at it. I'll take a smooking at it. I'll take a I'll take a gritching at it. I'll take a I'll take a blander at it. I'll take I'll take my money back, Mr. Doctor Friend. This has been gross. Uh, which stands for guy reviewing. Uh, oddly hang, hang septic sewage slime. I've been your host, Nenner, and stay frosty, my friends. Clean it up for me, please. I'm not gonna clean it up. What, you think that's a part of the job? You think you could, you think you people just make messes and they they understand they gotta clean them up on their own? I'm not gonna clean up. If you don't come over, you don't clean up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut you. Come here, come here, I'll cut you. I'll cut you real hard. I'll cut you so deep, you'll reveal your inner emotions about your parents.